we're at Shizaru, which is a contemporary art gallery in Mount Street in Mayfair in London, and normally you'd expect to see perhaps canvases, installations, sculptures, but instead the Art Rocks exhibition is very different. I have curated this exhibition of ten jewellers, and the exhibition is called Art Rocks, and it's in the Shizaru Gallery. And what I have always had a vision for was to have jewellery, um, contemporary jewellery, in an art environment because I feel that um, the jewellers and the goldsmiths and the craft and the traditions should be put on a platform as an art form and not something that's a commodity. Some of you might recognise Seba Michachi's work because we in fact went to visit him in Istanbul a few months ago and it's very easy to recognise a piece of Seban's work because it is unlike any other jewellery and um, Jo is going to tell us what caught her eye. Well I think because I've been working with antique jewels for the best part of 24 years, um, what I loved was seeing something with all the ancient techniques and the craft and the skills in a contemporary, in a contemporary jeweller. And you know, to actually go to this extent, so many people would just say, no way, you know, it's just, it's impossible. Well, the and he's, and the, well, it's the micro mosaic and, yeah. and the reverse intaglio. I mean, if you look inside, and there's a whole world inside these stones, oh, which is incredible. And, and he's somebody that is a perfect example of going that extra 10 miles to, to um, create something so unique and so different and yet so skillful. Ark um, is a husband and wife team and they are restorers. And what is fantastic is that they've learned to make jewellery through the art of restoration. These wonderful brooches, which when they're not worn, they become a work of art in their own right. And I've purposefully has put one front and one back so you can actually see the back of the the jewel as well because what is always so important for me is how the pieces have been made and how they've been created and I wanted to show people that the attention to detail is just as good on the reverse as it is on the front. And from Japan we are very lucky to have Gimmel. Her jewellery it's always using the best quality of the of the gemstones in the minute detail. I mean if if we turned over the pieces they would you could wear them back to front. You know, people so wouldn't beautiful. they are so so beautiful. I mean she's got like hexagonal back holes that uh, have been individually um, polished. In a way it's incredible technique with great subtlety and a concept that is consistent throughout her work. Exactly. And now we have this wonderful jewellery uh, from Germany. And what you probably can notice here is that the, the range of different materials that are used. And style. Exactly, and techniques. styles and techniques. But what is interesting is that um, Peter Schmidt, who owns um, Atelier Zogel, uh, he has a design and he'll put it in the middle of the room, of the table in the workshop, and the craftsmen themselves will actually pick up the design. And that's and say, why you get such a range. And that's why you get such a range, because right. they've got the opportunity to put their personal touch into it. And he just feels that if you take that piece away from someone to then have it finished by somebody else, it's lost the magic. And now we have Leo de Bruman, and he made this piece specially for the exhibition. And what a stone. Oh, it's just incredible. I mean, it's an amazing stone. It's a peribotomy. It's 144 carats, cabochon. And he has also set it in um, a repoussé bangle. And this started off, the repoussé work was the ancient art of repoussé, which Leo is very well known for. Which is a hammering technique. It's a know? hammering, it's an ancient technique, hammering technique, where this bangle actually would have started from a flat sheet of gold. Oh, I can't keep my eyes off that stone. I know, it's, it is stunning, I tell you. The next person is Sophia Mann, and she's my wild card. Um, and I just, when I, as soon as I saw her pieces, I just thought, wow, I have never seen anything like it before. And she started off doing life drawing, and she then developed an interest in working with jewellery and what she has created is these beautiful, wonderful, sensual jewels and she's managed to use hard material and make it look very fleshy. Another young girl, Zoe Arnold, who is also um, ex-Central St Martins and she writes poems and 
that is her inspiration for her work. It tells a story and we have here the emotions box which is a variety of emotions which you can take off the piece and you can wear it as a pendant or you can put it on as a wall hanging. And what is wonderful about um, the contemporary jewellers is that they are alive and so when you commission a piece you can work with the artist and she can work with you and together you can create your own emotion box and wear pendants that would have a meaning for you too. And we have here Fred Rich, and Fred is one of, I would say, Europe's best enamelers. And I just love, for instance, the ring that's in the middle here, because you've got the luxurious enamel colours, which are corresponding to the wonderful gemstones that are set in the middle of the ring. And I just love the combination of both. And, you know, we see a lot of enamelling, but we don't see it as well as this. The, you know, the quality and the craftsmanship in this enamelling is second to none. And if you see, look at the fish here, and look at the way that he has used the technique to have all the different hues of the purples, the uh, desired Fred Rich extravaganza which you have here. I'm very honoured to have Kevin Coates as uh, one of the exhibitors here, and I just adore his work. Um, the imagination, the skill, and the technical skill is, is second to none. Um, usually you have goldsmiths that will specialise in one area of expertise, but here Kevin does everything himself. He does the enamelling, he, he carves the gemstones, um, he fires the, uh, the porcelain, makes the boxes. I mean, astounding. And now for something completely different, this fantastic um, gauntlet which is entitled Contra Mundum, meaning against the world. And this is a collaboration between Sean Lean and Daphne Guinness. And it took about four years to make, about 27 fittings. The chain mail is 18 karat white gold, and there's like 5,000 diamonds set into this piece. And it is just quite superb. The, and it all moves, the fingers move, the nails at the top, um, every joint articulates.